morning, Lucy. More rain. Ugh. What do you think? Doggies. Come on. Okay. Welcome back. Piece number four today, right? Let's see, we've done, and I don't have an answer them all, but say that one with the cove and the boat, we've done a, oh, we've done the regatta. Whew, that was a beast. Um, and one other smaller one with some sailboats. And actually, um, speaking of that, that's the first one we did, and that's kind of the inspiration behind this piece. I really liked, I like the concept, I like the, the sailboats and the, uh, the colors and the mountains and clouds and things, so I actually just kind of did like a different rendition of it, so it's very similar. So that's what we're doing this morning. The wife and kid are gone, and it's just me and these dogs, so we're gonna get up and get after it. I wonder if you can see this. <laughs> no, it's all silver. So the idea behind this one is the sailboats are gonna be just black, I think. So those aren't gonna be in the, in what I want to catch your eye is these mountains in the background and we're gonna go with like some really warm tones. I want it to feel like, you know, sunset. You know, when you look out in the lake or look out onto the ocean when the sun's setting, kind of everything in the foreground turns black. That's what I'm going for. Hey. See what I gotta deal with here? Blue. Should we cut out a shadow box? All right, you'll see what I mean. Let's get cutting. All right, I, I think we might be on to something here. I really, okay, I really like that last shot where you could like see top down, see me cutting stuff out. My goal has always been to, I want you guys to see what I see because it's cool, but it's hard to get a, here. It's really tough to get a view of it because it's so small. And this is my current setup. And I hope this isn't too inside baseball for you, but I think it's interesting and I think you'll find it pretty cool. This is my, well, actually, let's back up. This thing is an aluminum cage that I built to kind of house cameras and lights and things. And because it's attached to the ceiling, it doesn't shake when my scroll saw is like buzzing and shaking and things like that. But I've got this arm here, which has always been kind of my go-to camera setup. So that shot you just saw was this GoPro shooting straight down over the blade. You know, this thing has a off-center lens and the shot wasn't great it was good but it wasn't great but i think okay let's go over here real quick so i have a couple old cameras here that i don't really use too much anymore with those cameras i have this crazy macro lens i also have this old tv and over here once upon a time i thought i was going to live stream some of this stuff so i actually already have an hdmi cord that runs around this cage and over to that wall. So what I'm thinking is, 
I could actually move my arm to the center, remove this little kind of crazy arm contraption that I use for my GoPro, mount it right to there. Then I've got my overhead shot with a macro lens, which is much higher quality, and I actually can zoom in a little bit more. And then in order to see what I'm looking at, boom, TV goes over there, hooks the camera. In theory, we have a pretty good overhead shot. I think it's worth a try. So let's, let's do a little shuffling and see if we can make that happen. Sweet. Am I crazy and thinking I can just pull, turn this camera on, plug this HDMI cord into it, and do the same with the TV and it'll show up? Like, it's kind of what I want to happen. Um, and then that goes to, that goes over here to this guy. Signal. Hmm. Oh, what's up with that? Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, the feedback was not pretty, but dude, that's pretty cool. Hang on, let me get a shot here. All right, check it out. So, interesting. All right, I love it. So, I guess if I don't wear a hat. Let's see, and I should be good, right? Why don't I wear a hat? where I like to hang out. So we actually, if we can, need to go this way here. So check that out. So now, what you see here is right there. Damn, that's cool. Okay, because, I mean, the reason, this is like, you obviously don't need a TV this size, but this little dinky screen up here is way, I mean, this is so much easier. All right, cool. This isn't what I originally envisioned for this setup, but dang, this really works. All right, uh, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm loving these colors. This is back from finish. It's got some finish on it now. You know, I know we did that whole camera situation and I didn't end up running into some problems, but uh, we'll discuss that probably in a later video. Now it's time to throw this on some white backer board and that should really, boom, contrast it and make it pop. Let's set up our overhead camera rig so we can get that shot and uh, let's glue this thing up.
All right. This is definitely the right call going with the dark frame. So here it is.